Hi guys. Okay, it's math time and we're going to continue our review for our test tomorrow. Okay, so I want you to turn to page 503. 503. Okay, so Alex has three baseballs. He brings two baseballs to school. What fraction of his baseballs does Alex bring to school? All right, so remember, numerator is how many of the things we're talking about. Denominator is the total amount. So how would I make that a fraction? Two-thirds, very good. So he's bringing two to school. He has a total of three, so two-thirds, okay? Number 15, Janine and Nicole each made fruit salad for a school event. Janine used 16 pieces of fruit to make her salad. If one-fourth of the fruits were peaches, how many peaches did she use? And you can cross off make a drawing to show your work. You don't need to make a drawing. You can show me your actual numbers that you're going to do, okay? So I need one-fourth, and I have a total of 16 pieces of fruit. I just want to know how many peaches there are. So I have to do one-fourth of 16, okay? So think about how you do that. One-fourth of 16 equals, good job, four peaches. Okay, so Janine brings in four peaches in her fruit salad. All right, so right here in this space, I want you to write your problem. One-fourth of 16 equals four. On the line, write four for four peaches, okay? I forgot to put this up here. All right, so... Next, we're going to do part B. So Nicole used 24 pieces of fruit. If one-sixth of them were peaches, how many peaches did, in all, did Janine and Nicole use to make their fruit salads? All right, so we did figure out how many Janine used. We need to figure out how many Nicole used before we can do anything else, okay? So we have Janine's. Already done, okay, four, one fourth of 16 is four peaches. Now we need to do Nicole, and Nicole used 24 total pieces of fruit, but one sixth of them were peaches. So we need to do one sixth of 24, okay? So on that line there under part B, write one sixth of 24 equals, so how many peaches were in the, in Nicole's fruit salad? Good, four peaches. Okay, because 24 divided by six equals four, four times one equals four. Okay, so they use the same amount of peaches, okay? Their totals were different and their fractions of peaches were different too. However, we got the same amount. That's pretty cool. Now, we're not totally done because then now it says we need to know how many in all, how many peaches in all did Janine and Nicole use? So now we got to add four plus four equals eight peaches. So and a total of eight peaches were used in their fruit salad, okay? All right, number 16. There are eight rows of chairs in the auditorium. Three of the rows are empty. What fraction of the rows are empty? All right, so remember again, numer numerator is telling us the number of what it is we're counting, and the denominator tells us the total amount of whatever it is we're counting. So. Numerator, how many, what are we counting? We're count, counting empty rows. How many empty rows do we have? Three. Denominator, total of rows in the auditorium, eight. Fraction, three eighths, okay? All right, let's go on to page 504, 504. And at the top, 
Tara ran three laps around her neighborhood for a total of one mile yesterday. Today, she wants to run two-thirds of a mile. How many laps will she need to run around her neighborhood? All right, well, let's take a look at our picture here, okay? So, it says that she ran three laps for a total of one mile. So, one lap, two laps, three laps. That's going to equal one mile. Today, she wants to run two-thirds of a mile. So, you need to find two-thirds here. So, this would be one-third. This would be two-thirds. So, if I'm here, how many laps is that? One lap, two laps. So two thirds would be two laps. So she has to run two laps. All right, and then the last one, we're gonna cross off number 19 because that one's really difficult. So just cross off 19. We're gonna do number 18 as our last one. So Gary painted some shapes. Let me get these shapes up here so I can explain it a little better. All right, so you read through that problem while I make my shapes. So I need three big circles and I got to figure out, oh, we got to divide them like this. If you think you figured it out, just hold that thought while I finish up here. All right, so here are your three shapes that are in your book, okay? And all of it are shaded in, correct? Everything, everything's green, right? So let's me get these shaded in. Okay. So everything's shaded in, right? So select one number from each column to show a fraction greater than one that names the parts Gary painted. All right, so now greater than one, we have to go larger than one. Now remember what we talked about. So if I have the, the fractions one third, two thirds, three thirds, what did we say three thirds can also equal? It also equals one, okay? That means two thirds is less than one, one third is less than one. If I were to go big here, that would be greater than one because three thirds is one. So if I have the, the fraction five thirds, now I'm bigger than one, okay? So five is greater than three, all right? So I'm greater than one. So in this problem, anytime it asks for a fraction greater than one, you need to make sure your numerator is greater than, okay? So we did this a while ago and I know that you guys probably forgot all about this. So um, that's why I'm kind of reviewing a little bit. So your numerator's got to be bigger than your denominator. Anytime your numerator is bigger than your denominator, it is a fraction greater than one, okay? So let's think. I have to have a fraction greater than one. So when I look at my pictures, this is all colored in. This is all shaded in. This is all shaded in. I need to count how many shaded in parts I have. Well, the easiest way to do that, count how many parts there are in one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have eight shaded in. I have eight shaded in here because my shapes are the same and they're, they're split exactly the same. And I have eight shaded in here. So I need to count up all of my shaded parts. So eight plus eight plus eight, or eight times three, or count every single one. 24, good job. So my numerator is going to be 24. So shade or color in the um, dot next to 24 for your numerator. Now my denominator is how many, piece, how many pieces are in one whole. So out of just one whole, forget these guys are even here. Okay, forget about these guys. How many pieces are in one whole? Eight, right? So there's my fraction greater than eight, or greater than one, sorry. There's my fraction greater than one, 24 eighths, okay? So that means I have 24 equal pieces and they are all eighths, okay? So 24 eighths. I know that one we haven't done in a long time. So that one was a little bit confusing.
All right, and then cross off number 19. We're not going to do 19. All right, so test is tomorrow, okay? I'm going to do it somewhat like I did today. Um, I have the test here with me, so I'm going to hold up the test, all right, just like this, and we're going to go through it one by one, and you're going to write down your answers. You're not going to copy anything on the test. All I want you to do on your paper then is write one, and then give me your answer. Write two, give me your answer. Okay, so I'm not, it isn't going to be too difficult, okay? Um, when we start Seesaw, it might be a little different. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with uh, tests on Seesaw. But for now, um, I want to get this test done because it's been so long since we've been doing fractions with everything going on and being off, you know, doing review or doing packets for those two weeks kind of pushed us behind. So make sure that you get studying okay know those three page those pages that we just went over so 500 no four started at 499 didn't it so go over your skills on page 499 starting on page 499 and ending on page 504 okay what we did today all right and we will be ready for your test tomorrow okay all right guys one more video today just reading left have a great day. Bye, guys.